Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. We have a glorious, glorious sunny day today and again I'm saying hi to you guys from my car because I'm headed out to uh, one of my friends' um, pop-up shop. She opened, I think I introduced Argina to you guys in my previous vlog. Um, or I, did I vlog with her? I don't think I vlogged with her, but I told you guys I'm going to meet her for the first time. Um, so for this entire month of February, she has a pop-up shop um, nearby. So I'm going to her store right now with one of my other friends. I just stopped by one of my favorite um, grocery stores that they do this long. It doesn't even fit into the camera. Like that's how long this is. The long stem roses. I absolutely love it. I went with bright white roses. You guys can't even see it. There we go. It's gorgeous. And with this like pink color um, wrapping paper. And the quality of the roses are fantastic. Like fantastic. I've already screenshotted a few of um, her items online from her website. Um, to see if she has it in the store and I think she's having 40% off online and in store uh, So I'm gonna link her shop for you guys in the description box below um, But yeah, I'm wearing this um, sweater short sleeve sweater from Zara It has all pearls on top of it with my leather leggings and my Fendi shoes and my Amazon dupe bag Let's just start driving because per regular programming. I'm running a little bit late Just to give you an estimate of how tall these roses are I just put it here so you guys can see. Um, I have a chair in the back seat, so that's why I can't put it in the back seat, but they're just gorgeous.
it is the next day i'll show you guys what i got from argonite in a little bit actually, i actually have to go back to her tomorrow to pick up more pieces uh, but i'm gonna show you guys the ones that i picked up and i think that's when i stopped vlogging after i went to her store um so when i got there she was actually about to close because she was gonna she had a doctor appointment um and i didn't know that she's closing early so i just quickly dropped off her flowers and then um there were a couple of things that she had ready so got those um and then there were two more things that i wanted it was a like gold hoop with pearl hanging i mean the ones that i'm that i got is the same thing but the pearl shape is different i'll show it to you guys um so she said come back on, on wednesday so i'm gonna go back tomorrow as well with um, my other friends um and pick those up i'll show you guys those tomorrow um but yeah afterwards i went to a bakery um and then got a very yummy pastry and went to uh one of my friend's house we had coffee and stuff and by the time i got home it was really really late and i was exhausted um but this morning um it has been an insanely busy one i just finished up a little bit of emails i'm so behind on my emails i don't know how people have their emails on zero i genuinely don't know every time i open my email it's like 50 new emails um but um yeah it's been a busy one i've been working on blog posts and emails and then got ready for the day um because i am headed out to pretty little, little things showroom and i'm very very excited about it um their showroom is in melrose i've never been there before so i'm very excited to go i'll show you guys my outfits to be honest with you it is not my absolute favorite one and the police ignore how messy our house is my sister is doing um Zina jewelry um photo shoot um so every corner of the house is um jewelry uh, props for photo shoots lightings and all of that so please ignore how messy the house is uh, but i'm gonna show you guys what am i wearing and as i said i'm not obsessed with it these pants are not flattering but i don't know what else to wear it with this like they genuinely are not flattering whatsoever but um i didn't know what to wear it's such a hot day that i want to go sleeveless but then maybe should i wear jeans with it i mean i like a whole beige look but anyway i'm gonna wear these pants probably a couple of more times because they're running really loose on me the back of it is pretty um loose already so probably like i'm gonna get like a couple more wears out of them and then i have to retire them because they're big on me uh, but this top is from a brand called cider it's from a few months ago and then we have my mania de war um leather pants i think i'm gonna wear my dior heels um, since we are going going all neutral or I could change my pants wear my jeans and wear beige heels I think I'm gonna wear these leather pants yeah because as I said probably I'm not, I'm not gonna get uh, more wear out of them um, I curled my hair did my makeup I'm even wearing false lashes which is like extreme level of commitment for me my lipstick came out a little bit darker than I expected, but it's totally fine. But do you see how unflattering this look on these areas? I love the fact that I'm complaining about it, but I'm still wearing it. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to show you guys the outfit with my shoes in a little bit. But now let me show you guys what I got from Argonia. First of all, how adorable is her packaging? She has this uh, little flower inside all of them. Um, so here is one of the items. I got another item for my sister as well, which I'm going to show it to you guys. Um, I love these hoops that she does. There we go. How cute are these? There are a little hoop with a pearl hanging from them. And I'm just like absolutely obsessed with it the other one that i'm gonna get is like a bigger hoop and the pearl of it is pretty long um but yeah i'll show it to you guys tomorrow when i go to her store and my sister got the same hoop it's just in a medium size and it's just the empty hoop and i absolutely love it i also want to show you guys this lux unfiltered body blur this was one of my christmas gifts and i've been genuinely enjoying it ever since um, I got it. It has a little bit of a tint. It does not transfer. It's not like oily or greasy, but it just literally adds a little bit of filter to your skin and makes your like body skin look so smooth. Um, it has a little bit of a gray undertone, but when you apply it to your skin, 
um, it doesn't look great. I actually mix this with this body pillar as well. This is their regular lotion and you know I am obsessed with this. There is no lotion that is as hydrating um, as this one. It just goes on your skin really beautifully, hydrates the skin and like it makes your skin look so glowy. So the combination of these two like makes your skin look absolutely stunning. Here is my complete OTD. Even though it's a very sunny day, I'm still gonna wear my jacket because I'm like scared I'm gonna get cold. So I'm wearing my Mania Dior jacket, Mania Dior pants, Dior shoes, Chloe bag, and these beige top. And let's head out to the showroom. I'm very, very excited to go there. back home the drive back was literally an hour an hour and 20 minutes because it was traffic and i'm literally exhausted but i want to show you guys a few of the um bits and bobs that i picked out from the showroom the showroom first of all was absolutely beautiful it was my first time going there it was a pink dream like la la land basically it was so 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 pretty um there were not that many products left because today was one of their busiest days and uh, apparently this past few days they had a lot of people visiting the showroom um but i still managed to pick up a few bits and bobs so i'm just going to show it to you guys and then there are a few items that they didn't have it available at the showroom but i really liked it um like they didn't have my size so um they're gonna send it out to me so when they arrive i'll show it to you guys um but um let's just go through the items that i actually picked up let me just have my coffee first because like i have a really bad headache so here is my bag it's not that many products and to be honest with you guys i have not tried on any of the items so hopefully they're gonna fit me um but the first item is this very very cute silky top with all these like little feather things it's like a pj set here is the pants which is so cute it has like the feathers underneath which is so adorable um this comes in pink and red and black if i'm not mistaken so that's the first thing i picked up and then we have this um, brown leather pants that are so cute there are um white leg so i think that will look very very flattering and i love the fact that the waistline is stretchy so it will cinch you in at the waist and we all know i will probably belt it and it is super high waisted which was another thing that i absolutely loved about it um they had a crop top of this um so you could do like matching separate but unfortunately they didn't have it my size so they're gonna send it out to me then i picked up this dress which is in this like burgundy dark brown it's not burgundy it's not brown it's in between it's a very very soft material it is a shirt dress um i would say it's like knee length um it's super lightweight i was like this would be fantastic for springtime um and again i have not tried this on um so hopefully it will fit me then we have this super cute top that is very out of my style but i was like it's just cute so we can give it a try it's this blue crop top and they only had size medium um but she's gonna send me the large one as well in case um i just thought because they're ribbed the stretchy material that will fit me um, my only worry is that they will be a little bit too short uh, but it's this super cute crop top that comes with um arm warmers so that was very very cute and again a little bit out of my comfort zone but we're gonna give it a try and then this is the last item which again is another blue item it is this one sleeve like one sleeve is long and the other one is a sleeveless top and this very cute blue color this is actually a blue color that i don't wear a lot it's like a baby blue and it has like this little tie thingy on the side 
I just thought it would be cute with jeans or maybe white pants during spring. So that is it. They had like tons of shoes and stuff, bags, jewelry. Um, but uh, she's gonna ship most of the items to me because I like there were only one or two of the items left. I didn't want to take it um, in case um, they needed to have the sample of it there. So she's gonna send me a few of the bits and bobs as well as I mentioned. And when they run, I'll show it to you guys. I took a few videos from my Instagram reel. Hopefully it came out good. I'm gonna go ahead and edit it now. And I'm sure by the time this video goes live, that is already um, uploaded on my Instagram. Good morning, everyone. It is the next day. I just did this hair tutorial for GHD. I'm working with GHD on an Instagram Reels, and I just recorded this. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it has like all pearls. Uh, I'm gonna insert the um, reels for you guys uh, by the time you guys watch this. Yeah, it has been already uploaded. Hopefully it came out good because I'm just um, exporting the footage. So I'm just gonna um, edit it now and hopefully get it up today or tomorrow so you guys will see it by the time this video goes live. Last night I slept like a baby. I think I slept at like 8.39 all the way until 8 o'clock this morning. Like I let myself sleep in because I was extremely extremely tired it was a very busy day yesterday and the night before I fit as I said I came home pretty late um, so I slept all the way through 8 I just woke up I think like around like 3 a.m. had water went back to sleep like without any hesitation I didn't even reach my phone like that's how tired I was and this morning, as I said, it has been already a busy morning. I just uh, finished up this Reels. Um, I've been really, really enjoying this um, GHT straightener. I usually don't straighten my hair that much, but I really like uh, to use it to curl. It has like a good curve to it. Like, I don't know how to say it. Like, the way you handle the um, straightener, it makes it easy to curl your hair with it. Um, even though I'm not the biggest fan of curling your hair with iron, the Dyson one curls my hair perfectly fine most of the times, um, but because I just feel like with iron you a little bit fry your hair, that's my theory of it, but curling your hair or using straightener is fantastic when you let your hair dry completely because I feel like when you're blow drying your hair you need a little bit of dampness if not it just looks frizzy um, so straightening or curling it with like an iron I feel like it's fantastic when your hair is completely dry or midweek when you want to change your hairstyle and you need something a little bit stronger I feel like iron and curling iron works fantastic but don't forget to spray your um what do you call it, heat protectant before using your um, iron. But yeah, um, I have few meetings today. I have to head out of the house. It's going to be an insanely busy day outside of the house. And probably I'm not going to get home until like late in the afternoon. I just wore this for the sake of the video, but I don't think I'm going to wear this today. Maybe I should wear one of the dresses from Pretty Little Thing, the brown one today with my sneakers because I am now wearing heels. My feet are killing me. Um, I wore my Fendi shoes the day before yesterday and I wore it for a pretty long period of time. And let me tell you this, it was not comfortable. Like I have a few blisters, uh, but usually that happens with any ballerina shoes. When you wear it for the first time, you have to like break into them. Um, and wearing them for that period of like time was not smart, smart on my behalf. So that was um, the day before yesterday, and yesterday I wore the Dior shoes. Dior heels are comfortable, but because I already had the blisters from the day before, so my feet are not very happy with me. So I was just thinking of wearing sneakers today. But let me just try on the brown dress. If that fits nicely, we're gonna go with that. I'm gonna wear them with my Dior sneakers and like Chloe bag, like a white bag, and I think that will make a very cutesy, chic look. I'm ready to head out. I'm wearing my Dior sneakers, um, but I'm wearing this dress. It is a little bit shorter than what I would hope for, but I'm still gonna wear it because I'm wearing it with sneakers and that kind of balances it out. Um, this dress is... Oh my god, this keep opening. This dress is actually size 8, so that might be a reason that why is it that short on me. Uh, but I really, really like it. It's a stretchy material, so I'm gonna wear that. And then my um, CY Chloe bag. And here is the hair and makeup of the day. My skin is finally doing a little bit better. My texture is just a little bit less. I still have texture, obviously, but my redness is 
pretty much gone and uh, I actually am using two products from Sephora's own collection that I feel like they've been helping a lot and the one product from oh my god I can't talk one product from Replenix um, so those three products I feel like a combination of all of them together is helping my skin heal it a little bit faster and what I do is every single night I apply a very thick layer of aquaphor on my face after my moisturizer I try to do it few hours before I go to bed because I don't like the feeling of like stickiness on my pillow um, but yeah that has been helping as well because aquaphor is like a healing ointment and I feel like a combination of all of it is helping my skin to get back to its normal self. It's still extremely extremely dry like these areas are extremely extremely dry uh, but it is going towards better which always is fantastic. Uh, but yeah, I am going to grab my laptop and my planner and head out of the door. So these are the products that I was telling you guys. We're going to start off with this one. This is what I use at nighttime. And I don't know what it is with it. It's not thick, but it is super hydrating. Like my skin is absolutely loving it. Um, so this is what I use at nighttime. And in the mornings, I use this. I think I talked about this before in one of my Get Ready With Me's. Or maybe it was on Instagram. I'm not sure. Um, but this adds a very very beautiful glow to the skin and it keeps my skin hydrated all day long this is a very light formula as well it's not heavy whatsoever but it is super hydrating and then this is a new product from replenix i don't know if it, they newly launched it or it's new to me i received it in pr um, but what it is is basically it's like a redness reliever something like that it has a little bit of a tint there we go it has a little bit of a tint but it is not heavy whatsoever it's a super lightweight um like product i put this underneath my foundation or on a days that i'm not wearing any makeup i'll mix this with my l'oreal one or sometimes i even mix it in with my moisturizer and put it on my face and it just immediately calmed my skin down these three with aquaphor have been working fantastically for my skin mm -hmm. 